he gazed up at the enormous face. Forty years it had taken him to learn what kind of smile was hidden beneath the dark mustache. Oh, cruel, needless misunderstanding! Oh, stubborn, self-willed exile from the loving breast! Two gin-scented tears trickled down the sides of his nose. But it was all right. Everything was all right. The struggle was finished. He had won the victory over himself. And he loved Big Brother. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Classic Comics. By now, you've probably heard about the whole controversy over Gina Carano being fired by Disney. A lot of videos are being made about this, but I thought I'd talk about what is, in my opinion, really going on here. Disney is saying they fired her for her offensive tweets and that she compared Republicans to victims of the Holocaust. Now, did she go overboard with those tweets? You can make an argument that she did. But other employees at Disney have said things just as bad, if not worse, and they weren't fired. I can't help noticing that this cancel culture stuff is taking us in a direction that resembles the social credit system that has been set up in China. Simply put, the social credit system assigns a numerical score to you which represents your social credit. This is supposed to be a measure of how good a citizen you are. This system is closely connected to their mass surveillance system, which uses facial recognition, online surveillance, and data tracking. Your score can go down or up depending on which behaviors you display. Your score can go down for things like bouncing a check, playing loud music, eating on public transports, jaywalking, running a red light, making a reservation at a restaurant and then not showing up, not sorting your trash properly, and other things such as criticizing the government's policies. Things that can make your score go up include donating blood, donating to charity, community service, praising the government on social media, etc. If your score drops low enough, you can be banned from using public transportation, banned from using air travel, your children will be excluded from certain schools and universities. Not only that, but people can improve their scores by informing the government of religious gatherings or just harassing their religious neighbors to renounce their beliefs and bragging about it on social media. This system has been used against the Uyghur minority in China. The Chinese system is an atheist system, so they get low scores because they practice their Muslim religion. This happens to Christians too, by the way, but the media just ignores it even more than they ignore the Muslims. People who wind up blacklisted have their faces displayed widely on social media as a warning to people. Hey, stay away from this person, don't talk to them, don't associate with them, or you'll wind up like them. People who have high social scores get easier access to loans, easier access to jobs, the government will give your paperwork priority over other people. Low scores mean the government will punish you in a variety of ways, including slowing down your internet, denying you a job, denying you access to government services. We don't have that yet, at least not officially, and who knows, maybe we never will, officially. But we're clearly heading in that direction, and it's all the more galling because the punishments are only levied in a certain direction. Just like in China, the system is being put in place to enforce conformity and obedience. It's not official policy yet, because if it's not official policy, then the left can just deny that it exists while still using it to punish people. Now, this whole mess with Gina Carano started because she wouldn't put her pronouns in her Twitter profile. Pedro Pascal put pronouns in his profile, and SJWs on Twitter started pestering her to do the same. Hey, Gina, Pedro has pronouns. Why don't you have pronouns? And then the mob came for her. Now, you may shake your head at this and say, well, what's the big deal? Why are these nut jobs so obsessed with pronouns? Here's the thing. It's not really about pronouns. It's about conditioning you, habituating you to acquiesce to their demands. Each time you give in to them, then the next time it becomes a little easier. Because after all, if you just give them what they want, then life becomes much easier. You don't have the mob coming after you all the time online. You aren't getting threatening phone calls. 
people aren't calling your employer and telling you that you're a Nazi or whatever and getting you fired. It's about sending a message. If you resist our demands, we'll ruin your life. It's about setting an example. The rest of Hollywood is looking at this, and if there are any others in Hollywood who might agree with Gina, they'll be sure to keep their mouth shut after this. I saw that even her talent agency has dropped her now. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it wouldn't surprise me. But again, why? Why these campaigns of harassment? It's to get you to accept their version of reality, bit by bit. Remember that Star Trek episode, Chain of Command, where Picard gets captured by the Cardassians? Gul Madred doesn't ask him about Starfleet's defense plans or the deployment of their starships. He just asks Picard, how many lights do you see? He insists that there are five lights when we and Picard can see that there are really only four lights. When Picard says that he sees four lights, he's punished and tortured, and Gul Madred makes it clear that the torment will continue until he agrees that there are, in fact, five lights. But why is that important? Again, it's to break your will to resist. Once you start accepting things that you know aren't true, even little things, then it becomes easier for them to make you accept big lies later on. The attempt by SJWs to make you acknowledge things that you know aren't true is really an attempt to make you deny reality, because if they can make you agree to one thing that you know isn't true, but that you'll accept as true anyway, then they have you. Getting you to accept small lies now so that when they start telling you big lies, you'll more readily agree to them. It starts with little lies like, men can have periods, and 2 plus 2 equals 5. It's about getting you to kneel and say, please don't burn me, I'm not a witch. It's the same whether it's getting you to agree that riots which burn down entire neighborhoods are really peaceful protests, or that thinking for yourself and wanting freedom to have your own opinions is wrong and selfish, and you should reject that and just love Big Brother. Or that there are really five lights instead of four. Gina wouldn't agree that there are five lights so they destroyed her career, to make an example of her. And she won't be the last. They'll probably come for you too, eventually, and they won't stop until you learn not to ask questions. And like Winston Smith in 1984, you learn to love Big Brother. I would point out that I don't have a Disney Plus subscription, but if I did, I would cancel it. Just a thought. That's all for now. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and please sub to the channel. Also, please hit the bell for notifications. I should have some comic reviews up later today. Thanks for watching.